Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is Collective Bargaining Agent or section hai, na, section 19 hai, jo ke Industrial Relations Act 2012 ka ek bada hi prominent section hai. So my dear students, Collective Bargaining Agent wo agent hai, basically ye ek trade union hoti hai, jo ke sub workers ke behalf par employers ke saath negotiate karti hai, ta ke jo living standards hai, जो के वर्किंग कंडीशंस हैं और इस तरह के दूसरे जो मामलात हैं वो तय हो सके तो इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशंस एक्ट जो 2012 है वो प्राइवेट ग्रीवेंस को भी अटेंड करता है और कलेक्टिव ग्रीवेंस को भी अटेंड करता है तो सेक्शन 19 जो है वो कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग एजेंट से मुतलक है आइए सेक्शन 19 का मुतालिया करते हैं वेयर देयर इज only one registered trade union in an establishment or a group of establishments that trade union shall if it has its members not less than one third of the total number of workmen employed in such establishment or group of establishment upon an application made in this behalf be certified by the registrar in the prescribed manner to be the collective bargaining agent for such establishment or group of establishment. So, a kasi trade union, which is eligible, hai, usko application jab registrar of trade union ko di jayegi, to registrar of trade union satisfaction of requirements, jo law ki requirements hai pura karega, or per us trade union ko declare kardega ki ye collective bargaining agent hai. My dear students, jo subsection 2 hai, wo ye kehta hai ke where there are more registered trade unions than one in an establishment or group of establishments, the registrar shall upon an application made, made in this behalf by any registered trade union or an establishment or group of establishment hold within 15 days from the making of the application a secret ballot to determine as to which one of such trade unions shall be the collective bargaining agent for the establishment or group. कि जहाँ पर एक से ज़्यादा trade unions हैं, वहाँ पर poll होगा और poll में required जो voting capacity है, वो अगर कोई भी trade unions हासिल कर लेगी, तो फिर registrar उसको declare कर देगा कि वो collective bargaining agent है. अब देखने की बात ये है, कि कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग एजेंट तो ट्रेड यूनियन बन गई अब ट्रेड यूनियन के पास कौन-कौन से राइट्स हैं पहली बात कि ट्रेड यूनियन एंटाइटल्ड है टू अंडरटेक कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग विद द एम्प्लॉयर और एम्प्लॉयर्स ऑन मैटर्स कनेक्टेड विद एम्प्लॉयमेंट नॉन एम्प्लॉयमेंट द टर्म ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट और द कंडीशंस ऑफ वर्क अदर देन मैटर्स व्हिच रिलेट्स टू द एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ एनी राइट गारंटीड और सिक्योर्ड टू इट or any worker by or under any law other than this act or any award or settlement. Collective bargaining agent represent all or any of the workmen in any matter or judicial proceedings under this act. Collective bargaining agent, my dear students, give notice of and declare a strike in accordance with the provisions of this act and, my dear students, Collective bargaining agent nominate representatives of workmen on the board of trustees of any welfare institutions or provident funds and of the workers' participation fund established under the company's profit workers' participation act 1968. Collective bargaining agent may, without prejudice to its own position, implead as a party to any proceeding under this act to which it is itself a party or any federation of trade unions of which it is a member. Hope you have understood the topic collective bargaining agent. Thank you very much indeed.